Hello, welcome back. Remember last time we fought Cognazzo and we we're here in Troya now. We we're told to go here because Kane's a dick, so let's go to the Troya Castle and see if we can get any information here. Oh, looks like they just welcome us here. Fantastic. Welcome, uh, welcoming us with open arms. They actually give us a chamber behind me. Hmm. Let's go. Let's check what's up. What's up in these pots? <gasps> it's the crystal. Crystal's gone. Whatever. <laughs> We're done here. Game over. Game's over. Crystal tree might become wasteland again. Looking for a dark elf. Go to the cavern in Northeast Island. Clipping anything but talk. said North. Hearing your movements. Bleeping dark. <laughs> okay. Here's the other moment in the game where I talk about where I quit. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, I'm very. Okay. So this is going to require preparation. It's going to require good preparation because we're going to need armor that isn't metallic. Good four sets of armor that isn't metallic. So, leather. Clothes. No, wait. Leather. 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 I'm wasting money. I don't care. Leather. There we go. I have a feeling Ruby Ring is metallic, so. Okay, so we can't. Uh... Goodbye, Paladin Armor. I knew you well. Leather. Leather. Nope. Got it. Paladin Armor. Go away. Go away. Paladin Shield. Go away. Oh yeah, and get the unequipped the legend sword. Because asshole. And mages. Iron ring, let's get rid of that. Everything else I can I think would be would roll well. Sid, how you're doing? Headband Kempo, yeah. You're good. Headband Kempo silver. Goodbye. I don't know what claws we're gonna have to we're gonna have to experiment. Hey, now we need to do one thing that's important here is sort shit out. There you go, you have a bow on me. No, I don't have a bow on me, so I'm going to have to buy a bow. The game is very strange and specific. The game gives me bow and arrows and a bunch of leather A bow here. Yeah, the great bow. My inventory is full. God damn it. There you go. This is fun. This is what fun is. So true fun is. Insane preparation. Oh, fire and ice arrows. We're, we're rolling here. Right hand. Let's equip the great bow. And let's equip holy arrows. Okay, we should be rolling out well right now. We got this. We got this. We we rolling well. Now after all that preparation, I feel like saving because fuck, I wasted so much time in preparation. I feel like an asshole. Uh, is this why I'm not popular? I'm spending all this time in preparation. You know, I prepared. There's nothing interesting to talk about. Is this why I'm not popular? Is this why people don't like me? And Jesus Christ, I got thirsty all of a sudden. Give me a second. Okay, much better. And then that just happens. I'm not very well prepared. You can tell this is like no research run. Just doing shit as I go. Learning it as if I were playing it. Because that's what I like. Okay, they said northeast. The cave. Somewhere. Where is it? Uh, is that it? Is that it? Where I can land? Can I land in forest? Does it permit me? No, it doesn't. Uh, 
Do I need to get a chocobo? That'd be disturbingly specific. I know, let's, let's look into the castle and see what they say. See what they tell me to do. So yeah, we're in this dungeon. This dungeon is it northeast or northwest? I forget. It, wait, in the northeast cavern. So yeah, this is that place. I need to get a chocobo. I believe that's what I gotta do. I know there's chocobo shit around here. That I know for sure. So you can get to that fucking cave. Do the fucking shit. Because this is really... Irritating. So the Chocobo Forest is right here, I believe. Yeah. Chocobo Village. We want this 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 motherfucker. There we go. There we go. You have the magnetic cavern. What the hell is causing the magnetic field? Equipping anything metallic might tie us down. Wielding my claws is no effect, it seems. Fear not! We stand invincible with my magic. Oh, so you can have your claws, can you, Yang? Do you have your claws? Quite? Yeah. Good. Now we'll see who's affected by this and who isn't. Uh, that, that works out well. Oh no, that. Let's go up there. No one is affected. Beautiful, mate. Beautiful. But damn, motherfuckers do damage. Motherfuckers be doing damage. Oh yeah, it's because, god damn it, we have no defense. That's why. Shit. Oh well. Sid does a significant amount of damage. Sid's awesome. Oh, whatever, we got this. We This cave is totally manageable as is. I wonder how much EXP these fuckers give me. I'm curious. And Jesus! Die. Die. Oh, God. Ogres do damage. Kill him! Kill him with everything you've got! 610 EXP. Shit! Oh, oh no. This is gonna be one of those dungeons, isn't it? I'm gonna have a lot of fun here. Now I see why I hate this place. Now I remember why this place gave me problems. Well, let's see how far we can get in this episode, and I'll just like grind in between episodes, I guess. I don't know, kinda sad that I have to do that, but nah. Uh, nah. Whatever. I mean, those ogres are just rare spawns. I'm praying. Hoping and praying. Living on a prayer. Living on a goddamn prayer. Cause these guys, they do damage, but not as much. Nowhere near as much. We could do fuckloads of damage to them. Okay, these holy arrows aren't doing diddly dick. Let's try equipping different arrows. Brass arrows, I have a feeling, will weigh us down. So let's try fire arrows. Fire arrows are even stronger on a base level. Shit! Yeah, I'm embarrassed a bit. Let's explore this cave, this cave of many caves. I always like going small, slow in dungeons, just because paranoia. Hmm. This is, is going to be working fan fucking fantastically. Oh well, I guess this is just going to teach us all the ins and outs of white magic, I guess. Tella doesn't have a fuckload of MP. That's what bothers me. It's like, there are characters that have much more MP than him. So having being super dependent on him just is irritating. Or maybe he's like around now, he's going to get massive jumps in the EMP when he levels up. I'm hoping. Or fires a lot to with these ogres. That's also be something I'd hope for. No, they don't. Just burn him, I don't fucking care anymore. 
No one cares anymore. I've stopped giving a fuck. Damn, that was impressive. And yes, that burned MP. I know. I know. I know. But I don't plan on getting to the boss in this current in my current state. I think that's obvious. If it's not, uh I'm sorry that you are that dumb. But everything here is way too hardcore for me. I think at one point in the cave the magnetic field goes away. I think I believe, like I I remember before the boss, definitely. That's I know for sure. So maybe halfway through the cave, shit will will like balance out. That'd be nice. I could hope for that. Keyword being hope. These motherfuckers draining it. Oh, they're draining my HP. Vampire is like kind of pseudo poison. That's bad. That's very bad indeed. Yeah, young leveled up. Yay! So. Did he have reached the magic thousand? He did! Young's got a thousand max HP. Yay! Yay! Ooh, treasure. I want this treasure. I guess something doesn't want them. Oh, these scare me. This scares me. I am scared. I am going to die. This is where I die. Do I have, like, Two or three. Ooh, I do. Bitchin. If only it didn't cost so much MP, or we had a better white mage in the group. Like, you know, for being such a great and mighty sage, Tella, you kind of suck. I mean, you got lots of powerful magic, but no MP to back it up. That's really pathetic. You know that, right? That is troublesome, and bothersome, and annoying. Cecil leveled up, yay! Learn to exit. Great! Unihorn. What the flying fuck does Unihorn do? I know I have another one. I have two Unihorns, I just want to know what the hell they do. But, I guess I want to B2F. Let's explore this around for a bit, for as long as I can. Then I'll just use Exit. Because, you know, Exit's cool. Exit is great. Exit, exit helps me. Exit keeps me alive. It, it keeps my, my prayer alive. Ew, that's gross. That cave, Naga, fucking gross. That, oh, that's nasty. Kill it! Kill it all! Good, Cecil, you're, you're a good person. Cecil, you're a great person. Oh, well then. We're at the last... We're at the last of it. We're at the bottom barrel of our MP. Already. We're gonna die here. This is where we die. Fuck this cave. This is just the moment where it's like, this is where I die. Oh, well, these are the actually without fighting ogres or anything, it's pretty manageable. I just wish I didn't fight any of this shit, but whatever. What's in here? Um, they run. Okay, just time for us to bail. Yeah, we're gone. Bail. Perfect time for me to learn exit, actually. When there's a dungeon I don't like. When I first get to a dungeon I don't like. Yay. Well, that's convenient. That's nice, Chocobo. Actually, wait. I don't even have to. I can just catch a regular Chocobo. Chocobo giddy up. Yeah. 
There he goes. And there he goes. Oh well, we've we've gotten good EXP throughout this. Ah, Cecil still hasn't reached that magic number. Always getting closer. Tella, how are you doing? That's gonna take some time. This looks like I'm going to need a lot of ethers for that dungeon. Oh well, you live and you learn. I didn't die like I was theorizing I would, so living and learning is good things. And you know, with all of this, this is where I'm going to end the episode with the discovery of that terrible, terrible magnet cave. Fuck that place. Fuck it to heaven. Fuck it to hell. Fuck it to god damnation of mankind. Goodbye!